What's it guys, Maxbush here bringing you another video today and basically this is the best guns in the game Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. A lot of you guys have been asking, oh what are the best guns to use in the game? Because a lot of you guys are struggling to actually, you know, know what guns to use and it saves you guys going through them all like I've had to do because I've used every gun in the game and found out what which ones were the best and which ones are the best. So I'm going to show you the guns that are the best and that is the best class setup series going on right now with episodes coming out more or less every two to three days so if you want to know what gun setup to use with the gun go watch that on my channel anyway let's get into this so the battle 27 is the first gun that is really good in the game assault rifle this is and we're going through the assault rifle first so the battle 27 it has really good damage and accuracy fire rate is really nice best fire rate in the actual class but the handling and the accuracy are really nice so it's really easy to use the gun and the kick is fairly straight straight up as well so it's really easy to control the recoil the next gun is the AK-12 in the assault rifle class now this has really good damage has low fire rate but it has the highest mobility in the class so you can run around and the range is really good on this gun as well and the damage is really good and it's really easy to handle really accurate gun really nice gun to be using now the HBRA3 uh, is the last assault rifle that I would recommend and this is basically the gun where it shoots and it gets uh, the first three or four bullets shoot faster and then it slows down but it's really accurate gun, the damage is really high and it's really nice fun gun to use if you put a reflex on it. Again there's uh, class setup videos coming out for all these guns so you, if you guys want to know what to use on these guns and the perks go check that out on my channel. Now the submachine guns, there's a fair few submachine guns that are good, there's the KF5 which is basically the MP5 from the other Call of Duty games. This has really good handling and the best range in the SMG class, really nice to handle and the accuracy is nice. Damage isn't as good but the fire rate's nice and it's very, it's good mobility as well, it's a really, uh, the first five rounds in each magazine have increased damage which, help, which helps with the gun and this is why this gun is really nice if you use it with silencers and stuff. Now the second one is the ASM1 which is a submachine gun, it's fully automatic, it's got a slowish fire rate but it's got the highest damage in the submachine guns and the handling is really nice. If you stick a grip on it or a reflex uh, sight or a red dot sight it's really nice to use, the accuracy isn't too great for it and neither is, uh, but it's really easy to handle if you put a grip on it. And then the last one in this class of submachine guns is the SN6. This gun's a bit like the UMP from Call of Duty, but a bit different. You either like this gun or not, I kind of like it. It's kind of on par with the MP11, which is another good gun uh, in the submachine gun class. These are guns that you have to try them out yourself to see if you like the gun, basically, and then you get a feel for it. In the snipers, the MORS is the good kind of quick scoping gun. It's the bolt action gun. It's quite high power, fairly consistent, which is the best sniper. The Atlas 20mm is a good sniper if you want to sit back at the map defending an objective because it's a kind of shoulder mounted one so you can't really quick scope with it or no scope, you have to zoom in to actually shoot. The shotguns, I would say the TAC-19 and the S-12 are the good ones. The Bulldog is okay if you have slight of ammo but it goes through the ammo really quick when you are obviously firing it all the time because it's a semi-automatic shotgun. The pump action shotguns are better and that's why I chose the TAC-19 and the S-12 for this class. Heavy weapons, I would say the Pi take is one of the better guns and I will put images on the screen. The Amelie and probably the EM-1 but I would definitely stick to the ones that aren't laser beam shooting ones. And that is basically it for the best guns in the game. I could cover the pistols, but they're not too good and neither are the specials. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this kind of helps you decide what guns you're going to use in the game um, for when you get onto the game. And yeah, remember to go to the best class setup videos if you want to know how to use a gun, tips for using the gun, and the best class setup for the gun. And I will be doing one for perks if you want me to. So leave in the comments any suggestions of what you want me to do. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, remember to join the Bush Battalion by hitting that subscribe button, it's completely free and you get to see all my recent uploads and videos, so please do that, it really helps me out, and please like the video. Have a nice day, I've been Mighty Bush, peace.